All right, so Alexi, we talked about a lot, man. We talked about how you came up as a young person. We talked about basketball. We talked about this. We talked mental health. We talked about your family, all of that stuff, right? You know, I got to ask you some NBA questions. Mm -hmm. All right. So first, who did, did you ever have a moment where you got on the court and you said to yourself, like, "Oh my God, that's him." Did you did you ever have that moment when you played? <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, I did have a moment, especially when I first got in, and it was Shaq. Ooh. And I don't know who was, was it. Was it Phoenix Shaq? It was yeah, Phoenix Shaq. Because it was, old, yeah, 09, 08, 09. Yeah, yeah. Well, I Phoenix know Shaq. Phoenix Shaq, uh, I would say Miami Shaq, and not Miami Shaq, uh, Phoenix, Cleveland, Boston. and Boston. Yeah. So Phoenix Shaq, he was right next to me at the free throw. I was supposed to box him out. <laughs> when I say I was supposed to, I try my best to box him out. Okay, gotcha. So <laughs> he just pushed me out of the way, got the rebound, dunk on me, <laughs> and I couldn't do nothing. And I was like, okay, so now that's that's what it is. Was that was him. was that your welcome to the NBA moment where you were like, oh, okay, this is this is like. Like it, I think to me it was my welcome to the to the NBA moment, but it was not my first year. I think it was okay. my maybe second year. Yeah, or maybe it was the end of the first year. But uh, yeah, I was like, Jesus, that's Man. that's how it is to be able to guard him. And I literally just try to push him as hard as I could. <laughs> he was just just too strong. Listen, bad Kevin Garnett talks about guarding Shaq, and Kevin Garnett says, imagine you standing out, you standing outside. And uh, one of the walls from your house starts to fall, right. like slowly on you, and you trying to do this. He said, "That's like Garden Shack, you know." Yeah, and he, it was a literal just wall so falling on you and banging up against you. Yeah, it's, it was just ridiculous strong. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I mean, I haven't seen nobody be able to guard him and contain him. Yeah. So I mean, what what are you gonna do with someone who, first of all, who's that strong, but also Shaq can move, man. Yeah. He can, I mean, he handled the ball, all of that. Dude was, no, nah, he was different, man. Yep. All right, so we talked about Shaq, but who, who's your toughest matchup? Who's the who's the guy that you just couldn't figure out? It don't matter how much film you watch, doesn't matter how many times you, you know, you you took away his his one and his two. Who was that guy that gave you the most problems? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. It was like some guys are just super strong. Okay. And it's hard to guard. Because they had um, the leverage and all that type of stuff, right? Yeah, and then they were moving very well as well. So it, um, it was a guy in uh, Minnesota. His name was uh, Pekovic, I think, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, White dude. Uh, and Nicola, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think, yeah. He's just very, very strong. Like, it was just... To be able to guard him, and then he was like very mobile, so he was had like like very nice moves. So yeah. it was hard to guard him. Yeah. Um, I would say like you know guys like that, um, Dwight a little bit, but Dwight didn't have that much moves. So once he catched the ball a little bit further, he just I just let him shoot. Now okay. he is back to the basket and trying to do his running hook. That was just annoying, but <laughs> he was not very consistent with it. Yep. So it was fine. But in you know it's a lot of guys uh, in the paint that was not really back to the basket guy. Okay. You know, most of the back to the basket guy was like older and then they were out of the league. Yep. So at the time with like it was like I got there, it was like um end of an era, beginning of an other era that mm. the the guys just facing facing up and just play. Um, you know, Chris Bosch was hard to guard. Um yeah, Chris Bosch, man. Oof. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a shame that his career got cut short. Yeah, he was a, he was Bosch really, was really nice. Man. Um but I would say, you know what? The guy that probably the toughest to guard was uh, Zebo. Yeah, okay. Zach Randolph right, was just—he right. was just on another level, bull, right? He you was—he was bully. Have you know? you